Hi, I'm Jen Tackney. And I'm Jeff Tackney. And, and we're, we're Team, Team Tackney. Tackney. Today, we're at an Iske Alito floor plan. Jeff, how can we tell it's Alito from the outside? Well, you can see by the expanded porch in the bathroom window Fun. and the window leading into the kitchen area. That's one way to tell the Lido. And this Lido is special. It actually has had some modifications and changes. Wait till you see inside. Come on in. We're inside the Eastgate Lido floor plan. What One of my favorite things about the Lido is the nice natural open concept. So living room. Right into the kitchen. kitchen. And as we mentioned, this floor plan does actually have direct garage access. So in the garage is washer, dryer, and water heater. So that's a nice feature of this Lido floor plan. Originally where Jeff is standing, there was a wall that went out a little farther. So these East Gate yep. floor plans, do you want to talk about how easy they are to open up? Well, they're extremely easy to remodel because they're engineered with a truss roof system meaning all of these walls interior are all basically partition walls. So you can take any wall out. The caveat, before you take any wall out, talk to a structural engineer and a general contractor to make sure that the trusses are still in good standing. Um, but with that said, you can take any of these walls out. It makes it for remodeling a lot easier than typical construction, type five construction. And as a reminder, Jeff is a general contractor. We definitely want you to speak to a structural engineer. This Lido has been remodeled. It actually has some bull nose corners. So normally we have a more straight edge corner on the um, hallways and whatnot. But this is the original footprint of this hall bath here. It's a bathtub and a vanity. And we'll continue down the hallway for the originality. This was the original master bedroom. So if you want to head on in, this is the original Lido master. It is just a half bath. It has the toilet and the sink. What a lot of people do, and we'll see it on our next Lido tour, is they turn this closet into a shower because originally uh, there's two closets in this room and you'll see that on the next Lido. This is the secondary, one of the secondary original bedrooms, but as you can see here with the soffited area, it has been expanded out by a couple feet with the, the addition and we'll get to the addition next. And they actually took the closets a little bigger here because they took the closet from the original master to make this closet bigger and a portion of the other room that will show you the hallway and storage that was created. So this is nice to see what changes can be made to the Eastgate Lido floor plan. So here we are in the Lido floor plan. This used to be a bedroom. So as we said, they've modified and made some changes. They took a portion of this bedroom, gave it to the other room, and then like Jeff said, they added on. So you have all this nice storage. This became a hallway to a new master bedroom. Wait till you see it. And this is what was added, a giant master bedroom with ensuite bath and walk-in closet. Very, very rare in West Garden Grove since the houses were built in 1960 to 1965. So in order to have this massive bedroom, a walk-in closet, and an ensuite master bath, which is good in size, it must have been expanded, modified. In the Lido living room, we'd like to show you what this home has that a lot of West Garden Grove homes have, which is an enclosed patio room addition. Nice way to bring in natural light and space. That's great for homeschooling, working out, teenagers. Putting your kids out there. Close the slider. That's yep. what we're talking about. So here we are in an upgraded backyard in West Grove. Couple of upgrades we'd like to point out. We have what is this called, aside from cement, Jeff? What do we use? Fantastic hardscaping. And not only that, but a drainage system to get any water that's back here out to the front, so no flooding. So it's a, it's a really uh, functional and great upgrade to this backyard. And behind us, you can practice your? Putting, which I need a lot of practice at, at uh, on this putting green and artificial turf. So very low maintenance along with a lot of the uh, drought tolerance landscaping uh, makes for a 
easy to care for backyard. And one of the things that we do have when we're this close to the Navy golf course, because we are in that west of Valley View, north of Lampson area right now, we do have gophers. So I believe they come over, Caddyshack was the movie. Yes. Um, so there is a movie all about those gophers. And what's nice is that artificial turf, you can put gopher mesh um, underneath and then the turf above, and that keeps from those critters coming up and ruining your lawn. Now we are in a remodeled Lido floor plan with the original square footage, original yep. footprint. Original footprint. So this wall's been taken out and here we have the remodeled kitchen. What a lot of people do in this floor plan is they actually get rid of this wall between the living room and the kitchen. And open it up completely. And that post. <laughs> yep, means once again, there's truss roof system so this post isn't really necessary. However, before taking any walls or posts down, talk to a structural engineer. Yes. As you can see here, this home has a fireplace. Fireplaces in this Lido model were a builder's upgrade. So not every Lido model home will have a fireplace, but obviously this one does. Here we are in the Lido. Down the hallway, we have the same footprint. As you recall, we have this hallway bath. Normally it does have a bathtub in it. They have actually turned it into a walk-in shower. So here in this Lido model, this is the original secondary bedroom. And in the last Lido, this is where they took and put a hallway leading out to the addition. But this is the original footprint with your closet and a spacious secondary bedroom. In the last Lido, they had actually enclosed the space as part of the closet for that bedroom to make the closet bigger. This is typically a linen closet with some gingerbread style uh, trim molding, wood molding. And here is the original footprint as far as the other secondary bedroom. So this is the original way these bedrooms came out. Smaller in size, the last one as you saw was more expanded and a portion of that bedroom was taken up. So this is the actual size. Here we are in the master suite, our favorite, where the magic happens. We'd love to let you see this Lido in really what can be done to the master. Yeah. So originally in the Lido, there is a closet right here as well as a closet over there and only a half bath. So check out the master where they've taken the closet and turned it into a shower. It's awesome. Also, another way for space is this barn door. So it's nice that you don't have a door swinging in. So since the Lido is the smallest of the Eastgate floor plans, it's nice to have either a pocket door or a barn door so that you can have a lot of space in your bedroom. Yeah.